The Bruja Keg Cleaner is an economical and simple to use keg cleaner, but it has been specifically designed to operate with the Bruja Large, the 24 gallon or 90 liter, 3 in 1 or 4 in 1 fermenters. This enables you to utilize the heating capacity of the 3 in 1 or 4 in 1 fermenters in order to heat sanitize your kegs. Let's get right into the installation and use of this cleaner. First, the keg cleaner just sits right down inside the 3 in 1 or 4 in 1 fermenter. Second, we're going to connect a pump to the cleaning apparatus. The pump takes the water that's coming down out of the bottom of the fermenter and sends it back into the cleaning apparatus and out the spray ball cleaning the inside of the keg. A good high quality commercial pump like the commercial pump that Bruja provides is going to provide the best performance as it has a high pressure output and is going to have the hardest spray coming out of the spray ball best cleaning the inside of the kegs. First we're going to connect the return line from the fermenter into the pump then we'll connect the hose from the pump back to the racking port of the fermenter and into the cleaning apparatus and then we'll connect the hoses on the inside to the cleaning apparatus. From the pump in back into the fermenter, first we install the tube, the connection tube for the inside. Then we will connect, then we will connect a, a ball valve. And then we will connect the hose to the pump. The ball valve allows us to isolate. If we want to change anything, we can just close it and not have to drain the tank completely. In order to show you how effective a high pressure pump can be at cleaning the inside of the kegs, we've installed a uh, clear plastic carboy over the top of the spray ball and we'll turn the pump on. So you can see that a high pressure spray will actively attack the sides of the keg, thoroughly cleaning them in order to remove all solids from the sides of the keg. Most customers will of course be using either the Corny the Soda style kegs which have a large mouth opening and are easy to remove the lid and install over the keg cleaner or the Sankey style kegs which need to have the spear removed before putting on top. Removing the spear is quite straightforward and only takes a few seconds once you're familiar with it. The first thing to do is to use a tool which slides over the opening here on the keg and screws down to release the pressure. That's very important before you try to remove the sealing ring. Then with a tool like this and on the uh, online on the, on the web there's all kinds of videos of people using different kinds of tools but this is the official tool which has a real pokey end and can get in and start to pull that ring in there which is holding the spear down and you gently work your way around and pulling it out and then once the ring is out the spear just lifts out. With the spear out you're able to inspect it and clean it and then you can take the keg and put it down over top and, uh, of, of, and clean it out. And just show you how the kegs will then just drop down over top of the ball and just sit inside the cleaner like this and you can clean them out. The water that is sprayed up into the keg just drains out the bottom opening and back into the fermenter. And here's the half barrel.
for commercial breweries or brew pubs, you're going to probably have 20 or 30 kegs on a given day that you might want to clean. Uh, the best thing to do is pull the spears on them, rinse them all out, and just drain that to the drain. Use your water pressure from the uh, tap, your municipal supply, just to flush out any of the beer that's sitting in there. If the kegs are basically clean going in there to start with, then you won't need to change the water very frequently, if at all. And that's the keg cleaner. It's uh, economical, it's easy to use, uh, it uh, works really well with the Bruja fermenters. If you have any questions, just shoot them to us using the form on the website. Thank you for watching.